Hiya, welcome to GGKCS, the multi-generational podcast slash floss tube for fans of all things knitting, cross-stitch, and geeky. I'm Cece, and I'm so glad you're here today. Today is Sunday, the 12th of September, 2021, and this is episode 460. I'd like to say a big welcome back. Love y'all to all returning viewers and a big hiya to any new viewers. Thanks for giving us a shot. Hope you enjoy the show. Um, so my kiddo, Dami, uh, if you're new here, uh, they are almost, I have the balcony door open, so hopefully the noise isn't too bad. Um, they are, they'll be 22 in about a month. A month from tomorrow, they will be 22 years old. And they um, are starting their senior year of university tomorrow, Monday the 13th. And so they moved back into their campus apartment yesterday. Um, they're living in the same building on the same floor, but in a different apartment because they're living with just one roommate this year instead of three. Um, so they, um, yeah, they're getting started uh, on that last year of university. And that means it's back to just me and Pink Pearl in my little studio flat. Um, it's kind of weird because like I moved in here, you know, in February and up until like, or was it like early June, maybe mid June? Uh, it was just me and Pink Pearl. And then Dammy moved in for the summer. And so it was the three of us in this little 500 square foot flat. And now it's back to just me and Pink. So um, yeah, I just took a shower and I put like face cream on and I feel like my face is very shiny. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have quite a few things to talk to you about, including some fun yummies and a great FO. Well, actually, there's two FOs. They're both great, but one is really great. So let's get started. And now we're going to talk about what's on my knitting needles. So in my adorable um, project bag from Little Fish Stitches, which... Um, decided to take a bath in coffee this week. Uh, so it is freshly laundered and clean. And so my kitties are clean and happy again. Um, I am working on birthday socks for Dammy's 22nd birthday, which is a month from tomorrow. So I am using my French vanilla cappuccino sock pattern that you can find on javapearldesigns.com. And as always, links to everything are in the show notes at ggkcs.com. I am using US one and a half, two and a half mil uh, needles. I'm using nine inch circulars that I affectionately call zoom zoom needles because you zoom zoom around in circles. I'm using Rock and String Creations Jitterbug Sock in the Meow colorway and Craft Slayer PDX Fingering Weight in a one of a kind gray colorway. And here is sock number one. So foot is done, heel is done, and I'm working on the leg. So my typical method of determining how long to make the leg, if I'm not doing shorty socks, is to fold it over and to knit until I get to the, what was the end of the toe when I was knitting the foot. So, um, so to knit to like right here and then do the cuff. So um, I have about probably four more stripes and then, and the uh, cuff and then I'll be done with sock number one. And um, I love the colors, you know, y'all know how important cats are in our life. We love kitties. Uh, there's a very cute kitty video at the end of the podcast of Pink Pearl, who is currently sleeping in her cat condo. So uh, meow. Uh, so this is just a fun, fun yarn. So that is what's on my needles as well as today's preemie hat, um, which I will show you finished next week. And that is the only thing on my needles, but I do have an FO. So let's move on to the next segment. And now let me show you my FO. So this was last Sunday's preemie hat. This is number 36 for the year. It's from my top down preemie hat pattern that you can get for free on our website, javapearldesigns.com. I knit this on US 6 4 mil needles and the yarn. This one is Lily Sugar and Cream Ombre in the swimming pool colorway. This one is Lily Sugar and Cream in the squishy twist colorway. And then the gray is Red Heart Soft in the light gray Heather colorway. And I used up both of these yarns. Yay. I love that. I love when I can finish off a skein. Um, so 
there is preview hat and I think it turned out really cute and a nice um, nod to the end of summer. So um, I did wind up a few more skeins of yarn yesterday that are on my preemie hat shelf, yarn shelf, which is my yarn cabinets right over here, um, to try to give me a little bit more variety. I have a lot of blue yarn uh, on my preemie hat shelf. Don't know why. I just do. I do have several skeins that I did not wind up because I was just winding ones that I did not have to put on a swift because I did not feel like getting the swift out. So, but I have a few more options now, um, just because I prefer to knit from the cake versus from the, where you're pulling out the strand out of the center. So, um, yeah, so you'll see some new colors in coming weeks, but there we go. Number 36 for the year, number 37's on the needles. All right, let's move on to the next segment because I have another FO. And now it's time for a floss tube and I have an FO. Okay, so this is Dreaming Girl by Barbara Anna Designs. I stitched it on a 14 count Ada from Freiburg on a Whim in the lipstick colorway uh, that was in a Black Needle Society box. And I used mostly called for DMC. I think there was a couple that I had to change or something, but mostly. So here she is. I absolutely love her. Uh, I don't remember where I was last week, but I know that I had to finish off like the rays and the sun and all these little bubbles. Um, and I had to put in the, the back stitching over the mouth and the back stitching that like hung the leaves and acorns and key from the hair and the ear. So she is completely finished. Love her so much. Unfortunately, because of the way I oriented this pattern on the fabric, I don't have enough of it left to do the um, I Wish You Live Next Door that I was hoping to do on this fabric. I think if I had oriented this to be done this way, so done like this on the edge, I would have. I still have quite a lot of this fabric left, just not enough to do that pattern. So I will use the fabric for something else, but I'm going to have to figure out a different fabric to do. Um, and I can't decide if I'm going to like go ahead and find fabric for that and floss for that and go ahead and start on it and do it kind of alternating like I was doing where I was doing Dreaming Girl Monday through Thursday and um, Autumn and Star Stars Hollow, which I'm about to show you on Friday, Saturday, Sunday or what. But I'm just reveling in this finish. I love her so much. Such a fun pattern. Uh, I had intended when it came out because it was a stitch along. Uh, mystery stitch along so I'd intended to keep up and I had barely started it got like maybe two days in three days in maybe when I found out about the Gilmore Girls sampler and dropped this and did the Gilmore Girls sampler which I showed y'all earlier this year um and this was FO maybe like 56 or something for the year somewhere in the 50s for the year so there she is she's finished I love her no clue how I'm an ffo -er. I need somebody just to come to my flat and help me FFO like a whole stack of things. I probably have a dozen and a half things or something that need to be FFO'd. And that's not my strong point. So if you want to come over and help me FFO, come on. Come on. All right, next up in my In Omnium Paratus project bag from Black Needle Society, which also took a, uh, a coffee bath this week. And, but this was thankfully easier. Well, I still see there's a few, like, I need to just wipe it down. I was, I was able to, because of the material, which I think I heard uh, in a Black Needle Society video this week, uh, referred to as restaurant seating fabric. Uh, so this bag is from the Ottoman Stars Hollow Retreat. So is the Hebalian Zipper Pool. Um, I am stitching on Ottoman Stars Hollow by Katie Landis. All right, here it is. So it's a 95 by 95 stitch pattern. I'm stitching it in the called for DMCs and then I... I am doing one of the fancy flosses and then the other fancy flosses I converted to other fancy flosses except for one of them I converted to DMC. And uh, 
I'm stitching it all as one piece. So here we are in autumn. I think, I think summer's next and then maybe winter in this. I don't know, but I am stitching it. So my fabric is long enough to stitch all of that. And here is where I'm at. This needle minder is from Forbidden Fiber. This one is from the Black Needle Society Autumn and Stars Hollow Box. So let's see here. Here we go. So this week, I know I did all of this. So this is Rory's skirt. It still needs to have the white stitched into it. Rory's legs, Rory's shoes. I did do the white of the shoes and the laces, which you can't really see right now, but once I add in the background color, you'll be able to see like the laces more. Uh, I know I put in the all the blue around Luke's coffee cup. I know I put in the whole word of Luke's. I think I probably put in some of the coffee cup as well. I don't remember. But with this, as of last night, I'm trying to remember what exact percentage it was. I believe it was 50.34% complete, according to Pattern Keeper. So I am halfway done. I love it so much. Yeah, I put in like, I don't know, like four or 500 stitches on this yesterday. So, uh, I told y'all earlier that um, I, that Dami had moved into their campus apartment. Uh, I was some help, but not a ton of help uh, because what happened, let me just tell you the story. What happened was Thursday night, I was working on site at the hospital and um I was coming home and I got off the bus and was crossing the street. I had the right of way crossing the street as I normally do. And a car trying to turn left on green was not paying attention and almost hit me. And I, um, of course, like stumbled back and I sprained my ankle, which is nothing abnormal. I sprain my ankle all the time. I have hypermobility and I can be walking on flat ground flat shoes and my ankle will just like collapse under me. So um, I've been trying to stay off it as much as possible, having it elevated, all of that. Um, so I helped Dammy some on this end, but thankfully one of their friends, a former roommate, was able to come and help load all of Dammy's stuff into their car and help them unload at the new apartment. And uh, Dammy's in the process of unpacking. So I will go, I didn't ever get to see their apartment last year because of COVID restrictions. So hopefully I'll be able to see their apartment this year once they get all settled in and organized. So, and then the final cross stitch piece I'm working on is in my uh, Winnie the Pooh Knit Run Dig project bag. All the details of everything that I'm using for this project are in the show notes at ggkcs.com. This is Edinburgh Castle by Tara Luna Stitchery. And here is where I'm at. So I, I, um, I'm doing this, um, I think it's a 25 count even grid, easy grid, all called for DMC. Um, I'm doing this as my 25 seven project. So every day I'm stitching 25 stitches on it, except for one day a week, I do 50 so that I finish two 100 stitch squares a week. Um, I'm doing it 10th stitch, which is means you only do one leg instead of two, uh, two strands over one. And so I finished, when I finished this square on Friday, I was at 35,800 stitches out of 265,824 stitches complete. I'm at 13.468% complete. And then these, I did my 25 stitches yesterday. Um, so this next column, like two of the stitches out of 10 across are what's left on page six. So when I finish this column in five weeks, uh, I will be seven out of 60 pages complete. A lot to go, a lot to go. So making progress, you can see this is part of the castle. Let's see if we can kind of try to see where we're at here. So this is like right here, this roof, this roof bit. I'm doing all the way across and then I'll come down and do the next row. So that's where I'm at. I'll be done in 22 years.
unless I change my method of stitching on it. But um, yeah, this is what I can commit to right now. And so that's what I do. And um, yeah. All right. Well, that is everything for floss tube. Um, I, I do have cross stitch content in yummies. You need to stick around because it's epic. All right, let's move on to the next segment. And now it's time for our favorite part of the show. Yummies. Yummies are our current favorite things, things we like, things we want to talk to you about. Yummies. First up, it was a happy mail week this week. First up, from Love You More Studio, I got this adorable Eeyore book sleeve. I couldn't say it. Oh, it's got Piglet on it too. There's Piglet. Piglet's right there. And the inside is Eeyore, and it says, joy and love, you are made of magic. So I currently use all of my book sleeves, and I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have six of these. One, two, three, four, five. And I ordered another one yesterday. Uh, I currently use them actually for books, but I know some cross stitchers use them as project sleeves. This is the bigger size, so it will fit a full, uh, like a full, like eight and a half by 11 page, uh, full, so a big pattern. And then uh, the smaller size will fit like a half page pattern. So uh, I have my book that I'm going to talk about in the next segment, uh, Facing the Music by Jennifer Knapp, uh, that I'm reading for my book club in it. So there's that. Okay, next up, let's move some things. Black Needle Society Cozy Stitching Box. This is the September box. I did a full unboxing of this on our YouTube channel. Here is the little pamphlet. I just wanna quickly show you what's in here. So we have some granola from Cardamom Hill. Ground cardamom, pistachios, almonds, and blueberries, and it's not gluten-free, so I was checking. No, it is certified gluten-free. Certified gluten-free does contain nuts. So there's that. That was made by Bear Claw Kitchen. There is this beautiful, I need, I feel like I need something to like stick in here so you can see. Glass teacup. It says, every moment has its pleasures and its hope. And this is, um, this was made by, or designed by the Black Needle Society. It's a six ounce cup and it's the quote is from Jane Austen's Mansfield Park. I don't have like a clear glass teacup. So that was kind of cool to see. Um, we have our specialty flosses. They are from The Gentle Art. It's a trio of limited edition. And they're unnamed. So here are the three. So this kind of khaki tan. They all are variegated. This purple and this brown. It's got like kind of green shades to it. Uh, very, very pretty flosses. And there we go. There they are together. Really, really nice. Beautiful, beautiful flosses. All right. And then we have... This kind of goes together. This is a... Um, owl wax warmer made by Zings and Things. And this is... Season for Stitching Wax Melts made by Novel Heartbeat Creations. So you put one in the top, put a tea light underneath, and it melts the wax. Okay, let me tell y'all, this smells so amazing. It is paper and Earl Grey tea. And it smells so good. I cannot wait to use this. I need to, I don't think I have a um, any tea lights, so I need to get some of those because that is... I think somebody just had a car accident down there. That's not good. 
Um, moving on. My, my balcony is on an alley with a very busy road because the highway is just that direction. Um, next we have this adorable fox fabric. Look at those geeky glasses. This is from um, Judy's Project Mags and More. This is a foxy thread bed. And it, it's like you can put your flosses on it so that they don't fall off. Um, their comment in the in the spoilers card was about um, being victim to thread sticking to cozy sweaters. So I think many of us have had that done, happen. Uh, then we have fabric. This is also from Fiber on a Whim. It's a 16 count Ada in the Cypress colorway. This, oh, I could maybe use this for um, my I Wish You Live Next Door. Oh, that could be pretty. Kind of as a nice neutral and then use brighter colors on it. That might have to happen. Um, I'm, wait, I'm saving my two favorite things for last. Then we have this pattern from the Blue Flower. It's called Autumn's Hymn, designed by Jean Janine McGowan. It says, go sit upon the lofty hill and turn your eyes around where waving woods and waters wild do hymn and autumn sound. And there's all kinds of animals in here. Like there's Kitty sitting next to the woman there. And there's floss and a uh, tomato pincushion. And there's animals in the quarters, corners. Very pretty. This is done all in DMC. It is 172 stitches wide by 163 stitches high. One strand over two of 40 count linen is what it was stitched on. It's beautiful. It's large. It's beautiful. Okay, now here we are to my two favorite things in the box. First up, exclusive needle minder designed by Black Needle Society. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Pumpkin spice. It says pumpkin spice. Stitch, stitch everything nice. And it's got little pumpkins and they're like cross-stitched. It, it, it's all cross-stitched. If you know me at all, you know I have an obsession with pumpkin spice. And then finally, are y'all ready for this? Look at this project bag. This, um, where's it at? was designed by Erin of Autumn Lane Stitchery. Erin wanted to play with the autumn scenery as a fantasy world, both inside and out. The thoughts of the stitcher come to life in her cozy, happy stitching place. I'm not sure how her feline friend feels about it. <laughs> He's a feline friend. Oh my gosh. I, I am a lover of all things autumn. And this bag is just epic. I just adore it to pieces. So pretty. And it's a um, kind of a peachy orange fabric inside. I love it, love it, love it. So I need to take pictures of all of this so that I can start using this stuff. So we had the pattern, project bag, fabric, needle minder, uh, thread bed, owl um, tea like wax warmer, the wax uh, warmer pieces, the teacup, the floss, and the granola. I think this is one of my favorite boxes so far. Black Needle Society, there's a link in the show notes as always. Um, if you are interested in getting their every other month subscription box, which this is one of, you need to join the wait list. So at the very top of their screen, when you go to their site, click there and join the wait list and they'll contact you when there's space available. And then once you do that, scroll to the, all the way to the bottom of the main page on blackneedlesociety.com and sign up for the newsletter because that's where you get notified about special edition boxes like the Autumn and Stars Hollow was one, uh, the Trigger Treat box in October, uh, the Nice List Advent box in December. There are they they do loads of special edition boxes, and um, I love them. I love them. And if you just in case you didn't know, Katie and Laura that do Love You More Studio sleeves are the same that do Black Needle Society. There you go. So I will take pictures of all that for the photo challenge and go from there. Then, how adorable is this? This is from Hook'em and Snark on Etsy, and it is a lesbian-themed kitty pen. This is going to go on my lanyard for work. 
how adorable is it? And they had, um, they have more than just kitties. They, I know they had dogs, they had other stuff, uh, all the different, um, LGBTQ plus, uh, flag colors. Um, I think it's so adorable. It is probably just a smidge over an inch tall from paw to tip of tail. I can't, I'm going to put that on my, on my lanyard for work. And then finally, this is from Susie QTs, Q-T-E-E-S on Etsy. So sad, sad thing. Dammy had bought me a Hades Town tote bag and it got dirty. And so I just threw it in the wash, not realizing, and it shrunk. I mean, it's still usable, but it's not the size that I need to be able to take things back and forth to work. So I ordered a new tote bag. And I went with Star with Gilmore Girls, Stars Hollow. So I've got Gilmore Girls, Stars Hollow, the Gazebo, Dragonfly Inn with a Dragonfly, Miss Patty's, Luke Steiner with a Coffee Cup, and Dozie's Market. Um, she had these in black and I believe like kind of a, a natural. They have a box bottom which is fantastic, nice size, nice um, space for uh, for you to uh, have it on your shoulder. I love it. I've been waiting to start using it until I showed y'all. And she was so sweet. She sent a custom decal of Luke's coffee cup. So I think this is going to have to go probably on my water bottle. Because I have, I have some Luke Dane stuff on my... Um, my coffee baby um so that was really sweet for her to throw that in apply to any hard surface car window mirror laptop yeti etc all right that is my um yummies for this week and that was a lot so if you want like all the super detailed stuff about the um cozy stitching box check out my unboxing video on youtube all right, well, I have more to talk about, so we should move on to the next segment. All right, now we're going to talk about what um, we've been reading, watching, and listening to. I'm knitting on my preemie hat now. Um, so I want to remind you about our RAL Read Along, which is a challenge for you to read 15 minutes a day every day. I don't care what you're reading as long as you're reading. Audiobooks do count. There's a finish line thread for the seasonal um, RAL, so July, August, September is the one we're in right now, where you post and you earn entries into the year-long challenge. And at the beginning of 2022, we will draw for three grand prize winners. All the details are both in the show notes at ggkcs.com, as well as you enter in our Facebook group. And the link to that is in the show notes at ggkcs.com. All right, what I'm reading. Continuing to read The Body Keeps the Score, Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma. I just dropped a stitch. Don't worry, I can fix it. Uh, by Bessel van der Kolk. I'm reading this as part of my counseling. I'm also reading Leaving the Fold, A Guide for Former Fundamentalists and Others Leaving the Religion by Marlene Winnell uh, as well. That's also for counseling. Um, okay, I gave y'all a peek of it uh, during Yummies, but for my Unashamed Love Collective uh, book club that I am in, um, starting, we've We've been together for a year now, so we're starting season three. We do seasons of six months. So season three is starting with Jennifer Knapp's book, uh, Facing the Music, um, My Story. And uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. And we are so lucky that um, when we do our book club Zoom at the end of the month, we're going to last a little bit longer and Jennifer's going to perform for us. So that is going to be lovely. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I, I, I listened to Jennifer's music in, uh, in college and after. So I, uh, I am well aware of, of her and I know some of her story of, of coming out, but I don't know the whole thing. So um, I am enjoy, enjoying reading her book. 
Um, I finished reading book one in the Lindsay Gordon series by Val McDermott, Report for Murder, and I also started and finished Common Murder. Uh, those are, um, they're set in the UK, and it's a, um, a woman who is a journalist, uh, and she's a lesbian, and um, uh, yeah, yeah, they were interesting. I don't know if I'll continue reading them because they weren't like my, oh my gosh, I love these, but they were definitely interesting and well-written. So we'll see. We'll see. And then I started reading the first book in the series by Maureen Johnson. Series and book one are called Truly Devious. And this is a um, set at a special school um, for like teenage age kids um, who are there to study something specific, whatever their, their desire is. So, you know, there's some people studying, you know, art and some people studying music and, and, um, literature and just all these different things. But also there's a, there's a very mysterious past to this school because, um, there was, there was a kidnapping and, um, murder, uh, many years ago and one of the new students is determined to solve the case um and that's what she's studying so um that's what i am reading right now all right watching uh continue to watch episodes of law and order special victims unit to go with the that's messed up and svu podcast which is not safe for children also re-watching season one of gilmore girls with the i am all in podcast with scott patterson and enjoying that as well. Uh, finished watching season three and I'm watching season four of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Uh, I had to like alternate <laughs> things though because they are very, very dark. And so I have to have something a little bit brighter to add in. <laughs> so uh, that's typically when like, uh, like the kind of HGTV style shows get thrown into the mix. I am continuing to watch Nine Perfect Strangers uh, which I did because Dammy was like, did you read the book? And because I know I've read several of the books by that author. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I have. And I did look back and I did read the book. So um, enjoying that. Oh my gosh. Adoring old only murders in the building, uh, which has got Steve Martin and Martin Short and Selena Gomez in it, as well as some other lovely um, big names, actors and actresses and musicians sting is in it. Um, and it's about these unlikely a group of people that come together because there was a fire alarm in their building and they, find out that they are all huge fans of this true crime podcast. And then as the title would lead you to believe only murders in the building, there is a murder in the building and they start a podcast and are trying to solve the murder. So I'm enjoying it. It does have a fun comedic kind of aspect to it. And I'm really enjoying it. Dammy and I finished watching clickbait. Oh my gosh. Did not suspect who it was at all. At all. Uh, yeah, and not a safe for children one either. A lot of what I watch is probably not safe for children or is like, you know, probably teenage years and up would be okay, but not for younger children. Uh, and then I'm we started watching Virgin River, which is about a um, nurse midwife, nurse practitioner midwife, who moves to this tiny town and, you know, we're learning about all her history and what has affected her life and made her come to this small town. And then of course we're meeting all the small town people. And, um, so finished watching season one and watching season two, they're short seasons, I think like eight to 10 episodes. Um, so it's also based on a book series, which I, I don't think I have read. And then I had already shared some of the podcasts I'm listening to. I'm also listening to My Favorite Murder, as always, as well as other podcasts and random Spotify playlists. And that's what I'm reading, watching, and listening to. So let's move on to the next segment. All right, now let's talk about the September, October, November Artistic Autumnal Owl. Um, I go into more detail about this on the first podcast of every month, but all the details are in the show notes at ggkcs.com, as well as in the Facebook group, which is linked on the show notes page. Um, but this is essentially a, uh, a long that runs from September 1st through November 30th. Uh, it's for any project you knit, crochet, weave, spin, 
stitch or sew that you can convince us relates to autumn and the fallback is you made it in the autumn. No whips are allowed. You have to complete, start and complete your project during the time of the owl. Um, we've got lovely prizes that are on the screen right now. You can hear about those more in detail and see them on the first podcast of every month and see them in more detail at the show notes. A reminder that you have 30 days to claim your prize if you win a prize or you forfeit them. I've shipped out some of the prizes. So we had a lot of prizes last week, y'all. We had from the um, the ninth pot anniversary giveaway as well as the summertime and the living is easy Al uh, giveaways or prizes. I shipped out some of them. I've got, and some of them were digital. Those have been, those that we've hired from have been dealt with. Um, and then I've got, I think, three that I need to mail out this week. My ankle through a wrench and things. So I will get those mailed out this week. Uh, but there are still some we have not heard from. So if you entered the summertime owl or the, and or the ninth pot anniversary giveaways, uh, need to go back and watch last week's episode and get in touch with me. Um, I want to give a shout out to the one person who finished a project this week in the autumnal owl, and that is Cindy A. So keep working on your pro- great job, Cindy. Keep working on your projects. You have a little over two and a half months to get them done and posted, and you might be a prize winner. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, now it's time for Ask the Geeks, the part of the show where you ask us things and we try to answer them. So this week's question comes from Emily S. And she says, you have said you aren't planning to do Nanny Swimmo, but are you planning on knitting a sweater this fall, even if it takes longer than a month? So let me start with explaining what Nanny Swimmo is. Nanny Swimmo is a spinoff of NaNoWriMo, which is National Write a Novel in a Month, where you're trying to write a novel of 50,000 words or more in the month of November. Knitters and crocheters did a spin on that called Nanny Swemo National Knit or Crochet a Sweater in a Month, where you knit or crochet a sweater of 50,000 stitches or more in a month. I have done this multiple times over the last few years. Uh, Last year, I attempted one. I ended up having some really, really bad wrist pain. And so I did not finish it in the month of November. Uh, it was the first time I had ever not finished it in the month. Uh, I did end up finishing the sweater, uh, but um, I probably won't do Nanny Swimmo again. It's just too much on my wrist. And now working a full-time job, I don't have enough time to get a sweater of 50,000 stitches done in a, a month's time. Um, I don't currently have plans for a sweater to cast on. Uh, that would mean buying some yarn and picking a pattern, but maybe we'll see. We'll see. Um, right now, I'm just enjoying the rhythm of uh, of knitting socks and um, and preemie hats. And then I did the cowls for my uh, niece and nephews, which uh, shipped out, and my mama received them Friday, maybe, because uh, my niece Lola's birthday is this coming Friday. So had to get those out to them. So uh, at this point, I don't have plans for a Nanny Swimmo sweater. We'll see in the future, maybe. So uh, do any of y'all have plans? Let me know. Uh, You can respond in the comments on YouTube or in the episode post in our Facebook group. Thank you so much, Emily, for this week's question. If you've got a question for us, you should post it in either the Ask the Geeks thread in the Facebook group or in the comments of YouTube of the YouTube videos. And uh, there's not yet been a question we haven't been willing to answer. Also, I was gonna say this. Um, so Facebook rolled out a new thing this last week in the Facebook groups, where instead of having announcement posts, there's like this slideshow kind of thing at the top that's called featured, where I can like feature posts. So I like put up in the feature uh, the like, this last week's episode post is up there. The finish line thread for the Rowl is up there. The FO thread for the autumnal owl is up there. And I also put the Ask the Geeks um, uh, post in that featured. So uh, if you have a question for us, you can post it there or in the YouTube comments, as I said. And uh, yeah, so let me know if you have any questions. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Thank you. 
And with that, we made it to the end of the show. Yay! Thanks for sticking with me. Um, okay, so just a reminder of our weekly announcements. We are co-hosting the Pride Owl, the Pride Along, uh, with several other podcasters and designers. Uh, it started in May, and it runs through June of 2022. Our hashtag is GGKCS Pride Along. And you can find out more by going to our show notes, ggkcs.com, and there's a YouTube link in the miscellaneous section that will tell you all the details. Um, we'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who supports the podcast, however it is you support us. We are grateful for each and every one of you, and we love that you are part of our community. We say an especially big thank you to those of you who support us financially. Uh, funds you typically uh, almost all go to... Um, to shipping out prizes and to technology behind the scenes. That's that's where the funds go. Um, if you'd like to support us financially, there's a few ways you can do that. Patreon and YouTube join are uh, sites where you can pledge a certain amount to your favorite creatives and earn rewards or perks. Don't know what that was. Rewards or perks based on the level you donate at. If you'd like to know more, you can go to or sign up. You can go to G, uh, sorry, go to patreon.com slash ggkcs or under any of our YouTube videos, there is a join button. If you'd like to make a one time donation, you can go to our website and there's a PayPal button in the sidebar. Uh, we are bookshop.org affiliates. Each week I create a bookshelf of our, uh, the books we talk about in that week's episode. You can uh, shop either from the bookshelves or just in our shop. And every purchase you make uh, gives us a little money as well as uh, financially supports local independent bookstores. You can go to our shop at bookshop.org slash shop slash ggkcs. And we are at amazon.com.co.uk and .ca affiliates. If you go to our website first and click on the appropriate Amazon link and then do your shopping on Amazon as normal, uh, we earn a little bit of money back based on your purchase. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra, and it's a great way to support the podcast by doing something you would be doing anyway. And... With that, I think that's everything. So you can find us online at ggkcs.com. There you will find links to everywhere else we are online. Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Instagram, our Facebook group, etc., etc., etc. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you have a lovely week ahead. Um, yeah, things I hopefully are slowing down at work after uh, about two and a half weeks of, of just a lot, a lot of stuff, uh, with back to school. And so it made it very busy and overtime required and, um, just hard to get a breath in as you're working. So hoping things are slowing down because I think all the schools have started back now. So, um, as always a reminder, wear your masks, get your vaccine if you have not, and, um, and make wise choices. And I hope you have a lovely week ahead, and happy crafting, and I will talk to you again next time. Pinky. Hey, you. Hi. Are you grumpy? Well, Mama, you know that the quark says, is Alpha cookie or quark? And I don't have my cookies. Where are my cookies? What's the deal? Don't you have to go work tomorrow? Don't you have to go bed? No, Pinky, I don't have to go to work tomorrow. Tomorrow is a holiday. What's your holiday? I think you need to go to bed so I can have my cookies. I need cookies, Mama. I need cookies. I'm so sad. I need my cookies, Mama. I'm just going to wait here and work PD4. PD4.
Disney Beautiful. Thank you.